It's in our nature to want to love and be loved, which is why personal relationships are so important to us. We are happy to give these relationships our time and attention. Kindness and clear communication strengthen our relationships with family, friends, and co-workers. Our relationship with God is based on similar rules, but they differ from our relationships with others. Even though talking to our friends and family might seem easier, talking to God gives us a unique chance to have a deeper and more loving connection. Being deeply connected to God is deeper than any bond we have with another person, even though we don't talk to him face to face. Beyond the everyday things we do with the people in our lives, it's about building deeper love and understanding. Number one, talk to him by praying every day. Good communication is key to starting and keeping partnerships, whether with other people or God. When we want to talk to God, we use prayer. In prayer, there is more than one way to speak to God. He is eagerly waiting to hear from us. Despite being busy, He is always available and willing to listen. God wants to be a part of our daily lives. He wants to hear about our adventures, thanks, and requests help. As we're stressed, relying on oneself is not enough. You must seek the Lord's direction. People talk about prayer as an amazing and unique gift a direct way to speak to our Heavenly Father. In order to have honest talks with Him, we should be humble, find a quiet place, and speak from the heart. The great thing about prayer is that it lets us have an honest conversation with God, which is an important part of building a solid bond. Number two, study the Bible. Two people must talk and listen for the conversation to be effective. In the same way, it's important to say what we think and be open to hearing what he has to say in return. While I'm in challenging situations, I use reflection to help me figure out what to do. To do this, you have to fast, pray, and read the Bible to gain understanding. As I read the Bible, think about what it means and pray to God for guidance. This process becomes a cycle. I think about it, pray that I understand and then remember to ensure I'm still following the Lord's will. In this way, a deeper understanding of religious beliefs often comes to light. Finding the balance between divine direction and your thoughts can be challenging. Still, one thing to remember is that anything that leads to a closer relationship with Jesus Christ and is in line with what he taught is probably from God. This promise helps you determine where your feelings or thoughts come from which builds trust that the desire to live like Christ comes from a holy source. Number three, help other peoples. Serving others is the best way to show God that you love him. This idea comes from seeing God as a loving heavenly father. Even though it seems contradictory, showing love for God means showing love for others and recognizing him as a source of love and kindness. When we do nice things for other people, we show God's love, and He loves it when His children share this love. It gives us a natural way to show our thanks and return the divine love we receive. The story of many guys who worked hard for years to help a woman might also make you want to help someone. At first, they were unsure, but they soon learned that being selfless brought them more than just divine joy it made them happy, too. The powerful effect of kindness is shown by this story, which shows that sharing makes us happy and makes God happy. It serves as a reminder that being kind to others makes us feel good and brings happiness into our lives.